Hello, all beings, specifically rational beings. Uh, it's Padudz again, ang Katolikong Filosopo. Our topic for today is the congregation of Protestants, the same as the congregation in the Catholic Church. I heard one preacher preaching on TV that he said, the Protestant churches has different congregations. We are accused of being separated from one another. But in the Catholic, Catholic Church, there are also congregations. They have like Augustinians, Jesuits, Dominicans. Wait, let's try to distinguish. The congregation, which we mean, we say congregation is a body of believers, okay? Congregation. But when you say Protestant congregations like Evangelicals, Baptists, Pentecostals, Lutherans, Anglicans, when you say congregation, this congregation means church, a body of believers with a particular belief or dogma and particular tradition independent from other churches. Okay? The, the Protestants like the Baptists is different from the Evangelicals, and the Evangelicals is different from the Lutherans. So they are not one. In the Catholic Church, when you say congregation, we mean religious orders. Like there are religious orders for men, there are religious orders for women. When you say religious order, it is a community of believers in the Catholic Church church which takes certain vows some of them takes the vow of poverty it takes the vow of, of chastity etc and of course the vow of obedience so when you say congregation in the catholic church we mean religious orders but all of them believes believe in the catholic dogma still under the Pope, under the bishop where they are located and under their particular superiors. Okay? So it's different. The Catholic Church is not divided because there are different congregations. The different congregations only enhance the different gifts of this particular religious orders because there are different gifts of people that they help the community. For example, the congregation of the Sisters of Charity of Mother Teresa took care and is taking care of the people that are not taking care of the society, like the, the very sick, the abandoned. So they take care of them. So it's a different gift. Like the LaSalle Brothers takes care of education. The same with the Jesuits, but the Jesuits... It depends upon the priest. They have different gifts. But most often, it is for education. Also, the Dominicans take care of education. The Benedictine of St. Scholastica and the Benedictine also brothers, also on education. So there are different gifts, like the Augustinians, the Recollects. So they, they have different gifts. Like the Carmelites of the Carmelite Monastery, their gift is to pray for us. Most of them are inside the monastery just praying for us. That's also their gift of prayer that is offered for all Catholics. But then we are all Catholics. So we, we love the different congregation. When you say different religious orders, but they're still believing in the Catholic belief. They, they start reciting the, the Apostles' Creed. They still believe in the Pope. They still respect the bishop where they are located. Okay? So it's different than the Protestant congregations because they do not belong to the same church. The Lutheran does not belong to the Baptist and the Baptists that belong to the Evangelicals or the Pentecostals, okay? We just want to clarify that one because, like, people might believe 
that the Catholic Church is also divided. Like the Protestant, because there are congregations in the Catholic Church and there are congregations in the Protestant churches. That's false. You define congregation as a church, like the Protestant. But in the Catholic Church, you say congregation, it's just religious orders within the Catholic Church. Okay? I hope we clarify that one. God bless us all. Take care.